I'm Williamson County Master Gardener Judy and today we're going to plant a pepper. When you plant your pepper, make sure that it's a cloudy day like today or you're doing it in the evening so it won't have so much stress when it gets transplanted. And your soil should be very heavy and very, uh, have a lot of organic material in it. It's also important that you have at least six hours of sun where you're going to plant it. And if it's in a container, use at least a five gallon pot. This one's slightly larger than five gallons and it should do just fine. So the first thing I'll do is dig a hole and soak it with water. And I have already done that. So it's nice and damp and ready to go. The next thing I'm gonna do is take it out of the pot I poured some water on this to help it come out more easy. And I'm just gonna tap it and see if we can get it out. There we go. So when I plant the pepper, I want it to be slightly lower than the level of the soil so that we can have a little depression around it for the water to collect and help to keep it moist. Peppers really don't like to dry out and when they're constantly wilted, they tend to not produce as many peppers. After I've gotten it planted, of course I'm going to water it. And if you're using a pot, you would put two tablespoons of all-purpose fertilizer in there. If you're planting it in the ground, I would go to the links below on how to grow peppers so you get the right ratio of fertilizer in your ground. Um, you may or may not need your pepper to be staked depending on the variety that you have. This is a typical bell pepper and it may grow tall enough that it'll bend in the wind and I don't want it to break. So I'm going to put one of these tomato cages on it as well as a shade cloth for sun. And I'll just hook this around here so that when it's first transplanted, the sun doesn't cook it. <laughs> and for about a week or two, this will help it to stay happy. So that is how we plant a pepper. 